Hello and welcome to part 2 of Sam and Max Save the World First episode, we couldn't figure out how to uh, knock out wizards But yeah, I figured it out by checking the cheese over here Going over to take the bathroom door and make Max go in and make wizards pee Place the cheese in the basket he, probably, he was carrying around And he got Knocked the hell out by a boxing glove from above, so yeah. This is actually the second time I have crashed, so it's, I'm a bit annoyed, so... The first time was the game itself. Second time it was apparently my fault, because I have two screens set up. And I accidentally moved the mouse over to the second screen and clicked, so it... Was... Yeah. Let's go out. So let, let's see what we have here. Uh, gun, boxing glove, uh, bowling ball. Let's go watch the tape. And Max magically teleports a third away. That's cool. So let's take the video tape, place it in the VCR. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines! You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you! Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. So, yeah, there's nothing left to do here. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's go out again. Oh, no. Well, never mind. <laughs> Actually. Let's go on with the civil. Whee! Today, she's a psychotherapist. That's pretty convenient. Considering we have to deal with brain wars, child. Child stars. Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you- Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! Yeah, so we, uh... We could try to ask him. Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist, that's me! He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer! Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? <laughs> Pretty Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID, Sybil? My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. 
I get that a lot, but I'm civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist. Right. And they even stands peepers on his on his cloth. Cool. Well, I don't think we get anything Excuse out about that. Excuse me for that. a minute, would you? Sure. And was here that I misclicked because I tried to click the door, but nothing happened. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs! I've got to sit down. Oh my God! He's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! But he's my pal. You were friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. Yeah, I think she's the right one. I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? <laughs> What's the charge? Assault! Kidnapping! Identity theft! Those are good charges. Some of my favorites! And what about Mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me! Gadzooks! Why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference, or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although, actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. He's hypnotized! Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis! Yep, that's what I said. How can you tell? What can we do? Are there steps we can take? Soothing music, or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! So, should I knock him out? Max, you ever hear of the term tough love? It's the only co- He does look a little like a bowling pin, doesn't he? I can see you! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, there he is! You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vital. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. <laughs> oh! I think well, I know what to do. To get that tear gas gone. Bus coast inconvenience. Who's there? Oh, it's just you. And he's still out cold. <laughs> hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. You know, we did put the kibosh on that whole terrorist operation, so... How about some free stuff? Is that why you did this? For free stuff? Was this all a part of the plot? Yes, a labyrinthine scheme in which we paid off a former child star to deliver videos to your store just so that we could knock him out via your own security system and claim an undeserved reward. So you admit it? Conspiracy humor may be lost on this crowd. Um, We'd like to patronize your fine establishment. By patronize you, he means we'll mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what. What have you got? Well, thing on the. Oh, yeah. And. 
Under the counter. I accept your thinly. Oh, it's just a little something. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that. It's the latest in Bosco Tech in yeah, a guarantee. Yeah, I feel really yeah. good. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. You mean white collar crime drive? Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspots hurts the most. That's not what I thought. You Nothing. Oh. Oh! I know what See to you do. Later, Bosco. Remember. What I'm conversation? I'm gonna go for a drive. The conversation. What com? <laughs> Let's go for a drive. Buy one, get one. Nation's terror level lowered to general anxiety. Your family may be in danger. Oh crap! Let's go for Bright and Dirty Soto. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Please accept my condolences for your taillight. Sam 1, tail light 0. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. Money. Hello, we're freelance police. And you're not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Your tail light's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What? Are you crazy? Uh, okay, uh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. Alright, my attorney advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting. Thanks, sucker! Driving around with $10,000 like a Let's get that tigre gas. I could do this all day. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. Greetings, anonymous motorist. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. What's the charge? I'm sorry, I mistook you for a ferret. And as you know, ferrets are not permitted to drive in this state. But I'm not a ferret. Well, that's what it looks like from here. Come on, Max. Let's go find some other unsuspecting driver to accuse of made-up crimes. Huh. Well, let's go back. Go back and get that T-grenade. Here, gas grenade launcher. Oh, holy Christ. And that's how you drive. To Bosco's inconvenience store.
We got your tear gas money right here. Really? All right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me, trust me. Oh, by the way, did I mention my automated defense system? No, what's it do? The 10,000 just covered the cost of materials, you know. Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. Now oh, let's get that Peebus to fry like a little baby. Oh, Sybil? Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> but it will make you cry. <laughs> Can I knock him the hell out now? Please, Sam, allow me. Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding, it'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps! I can see you! <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind! I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control! What? Hey! What am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil! It's Peepers! Oh, yes it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream! And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes! Brady Culture was there! He kept telling me to do stuff! Aha! I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear. <laughs> Talk to her. Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Thanks for taking care of that wacko. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Max might like a tattoo. Oh, yeah. I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. I get the cold shivers just thinking about remembering hearing you say that. I'm out of the tattoo business anyway. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. Have you got ten grand? I'm new at this. I have a lot of student loans. Great! Loan us a student! I can ride it around like a pony! It's nice to see you show such enthusiasm! Security. Can you fix cars? Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. Oh, never mind. I'm not much of a mechanic anyway. Except with unicycles. I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots, we could try some free association, I could interpret your dreams for you. 
Let's try some ink blots. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions, or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. The hell is that? The results of the last time I let Max drive. All right. Now, how about this one? It looks like someone's kissing. <laughs> the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And this? A squirrel that got run over twice. Now this one. What do you see? That looks like a bat. <laughs> the exhaust manifold. The exhaust truck. manifold of a bread truck. And this one? Holy, there's many. An yeah. orangutan trying to escape from the trunk of a DeSoto. Mmm, these tell me that you're kind of hung up on cars, though not quite to the point of obsession. Thanks, Doc. Uh, let's try the free association. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Word to the wise, never put your tongue on a cactus. Or vice versa. Trigger word causes strange culinary impulses. Possible organic malaise fixation. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Tempting sometimes, but I become fond of the little guy. Whoa! Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Comb. <laughs> tattoo chair. Can I sit in the tattoo chair while we do this? Me first! Trigger word induces unusual desire for tattoo in subject. Possible symptom of euphoric dyspepsia. Well, this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Dream analysis. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Yowch. Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office. But this time, things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. Yeah, it looks kind of weird, but... But that's because I have forced it up to 1080p, so it's normally 800 by 600. So yeah. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, doo-da, doo-da. But that's not unusual. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm, the rats are pests. 
they represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? I like this. I like this sort of thing. It's actually fun. It was a poor little fish, gasping for air, and yet totally unharmed, in case you're a member of an animal cruelty organization. Hmm, a fish out of water. Perhaps you're bothered by feelings that you don't belong. Maybe so. But trust me, Sam, you belong in therapy. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. I noticed a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away, things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? A parking meter. A parking meter? Why would you possibly be ashamed of that? Well, we did run over the meter in front of our building once or twice. Or every single time we ever parked there. Nothing unusual there. Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. Yes, the plant represents a source of sustenance. What was on it? Needles. It was a cactus. Hmm. Your sustenance is needles. Is there something you want to tell me, Sam? Yes, there is. This isn't costing me anything, is it? I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? It was a psychotherapy diploma. Interesting. Do you secretly want to become a therapist? No, I publicly want to become a therapist. <laughs> oh, you kidder. Please, try to be serious. <laughs> Psycho blabble. Hanging on the coat rack was a necktie in the shape of a noose. Oh my. Sam, I'm not sure how to put this, but I think you may need a therapist. Oh wait. I forgot I am one. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. Ah, the water cooler. A source of refreshment. What was in it? It was a massive death-dealing revolver. You subconsciously find revolvers refreshing? Oh no, it's quite conscious, I assure you. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? A cheesecake. It was a cheesecake. And I mean literally, a piece of cheese in a cake. What does that represent? No, that doesn't mean anything. It's just random nonsense. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. Well, that Actually, was it. Let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm, postponing responsibilities. Interesting. Well, see you next time in part three.